When I received the APCO Lifetime Achievement Award in 2008, it came with a $10,000 grant to support any educational mission in APCO that I wanted to initiate or support. It's been known for decades that recognition for research and scholarly presentations and journal writings has trumped educational achievement and endeavors. The fact that this has been the case has been sad. Most all research findings are replaced over time, including my own in MFM, yet the effects of education are timeless. Who doesn't remember being taught by good teachers from even our earliest days in our academic career? Therefore, I decided that I wanted to direct this grant fund towards recognizing high achievers in women's healthcare education. Ultimately, I chose to establish an annual award to a promising young medical educator in our field. In doing so, such distinction would hopefully provide her or him with tangible documentation of their educational expertise, and in doing so, shorten the time to promotion and tenure, as well as increase educational opportunities for scholarly presentations, both at APCO and other venues. Thus, the Promising Young Educator Award was founded with apparent success over the ensuing years. As the funding from the initial grant dwindled over the years, my family provided additional funding to keep this annual award active. Also, over the past 10 years, the amount of the award has doubled. Several years ago, my family and I concluded that the establishment of a permanent endowment sufficient to continue this annual award perpetually was in order. Working closely with APCO, we are in the final stages of funding this endowment. I very much appreciate all the contributions that APCO has made to my own career, professionally and personally, and I'm grateful that my family endorsed the concept of this endowment. This year, it is my pleasure to announce that the APCO Award Selection Committee has chosen Dr. Alicia Wigzulis from Albany Medical Center to receive the APCO 2021 William N.P. Herbert Promising Educator Award. Congratulations, Dr. Wigzulis.